Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here. Back with a new series for the channel for uh, playing the Long Dark here. We are going to try to do the Faithful Faithful Cartographer um, achievement. I'm going to do it in uh, Voyager mode, which is kind of the medium difficulty. Some people would say Stalker is the medium one. Interloper I enjoy as well, but we're going to do it in Voyager. Um, and the idea is just to map the entire map. Um, all the main places. I, get, I guess I get to decide where I'm going to start. Uh, I think I'm going to start Mystery Lake just because I'm most comfortable with it. Now I started this challenge back in 2017. Um, I mapped the world challenge, but the game has changed so much. They've added Ash Canyon, Black Rock, Hash River Valley. They added a, a place in Mountain Town. And I think Bleak Inlet is new as well. So the game has changed a lot. Um, so we're going to start off at Mystery Lake. We'll play the uh, male survivor, I guess. And we're allowed some feats. I only have three, and we're allowed three, so let's just <laughs> add all three. And we're going to call this... Uh, what should we call this? I'll call this... Uh, I already have a map the world one, so we'll call it Faithful. Maybe just faithful. Oh, it's, it's, I don't know if we have enough room to write it all out here. Cartographer. Oh, it fits. Okay. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. Here we go. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. No kidding. Oh, wow, we started in camp office. Okay. That's good. I'm playing in 4K because the graphics in this game are just amazing. I'm playing on ultra settings as well. Let's see what we started off with. Some basics. Some nice leather shoes. Uh, they're kind, en anymore. kind enough to leave us a ski jacket. We'll put that on right away. Uh, we're going to, I guess, loot camp office. And then I'm going to try to not hoard as much throughout this playthrough. Let's see what they gave us in terms of tools. Did we get two cans to start with? We had we had uh, one and they gave us another one on the floor. Okay. Yeah, so during the last time I attempted this, I, I noticed I was just hoarding everything. We'll try to travel light. Um, travel light and map quickly so the series doesn't go on forever. There, the longest I've ever survived in this game is 62 days. Now there's achievement at um, at, 50, uh, at 100 days and 500 days, so I might try for that. Is there something there? Stack of papers. Stack of papers is pretty useless. Uh, I don't think I'll be editing much out of the series, if anything. I want to leave it all in. What have we here? It's pretty nice too. We'll take that. Uh, just so you guys know, if you don't know already, I live in Vancouver, BC, which is uh, the same province that the developers of the game are in. Oh, maple syrup. Mm. Uh, should we take this other can? We're going to probably get lots of cans from food and stuff. Okay, there's a lot of often little hidden things back. Look at that, there's some peaches back there. We'll grab those. Now, I really enjoy uh, Interloper, and I'll do a series on Interloper for sure. But I wanted to get more comfortable with some of the maps. Uh, like some of the, the, the world map here, let's check. Ash Canyon and Hush River Valley, I don't really have much experience with. Black Rock is really brand new. I only experienced it in the story mode. And a little bit in Interloper. Um, and there's a point up, up, uh, there's a place in Mountain Town that I haven't experienced, and Bleak Inlet I've never been to. So there's a lot of places, and the transition zones I'm not really comfortable with. Let's take a look upstairs here. Now I'm going to miss a lot of loot for sure. Spray paint is a new thing in the game since I played last. Let's break down some cloth. We'll need that for repairs and stuff. Um, books. We'll take a few books, but not too many. This will be our our home base. These running should shoes. end up being useful. I'll probably break them down for leather. Oh, magnifying glass. 
That's a pretty key find on, uh... Pretty key find on, uh, Interloper to get one of those. Now, the other reason I wanted to play Voyager, um, or Stalker, we already have a bedroll, so we don't need that, is to be able to use the, the all the items in the game. Because in Interloper, you don't get to use, uh, guns at all. We'll take that cooking pot. We already have two cans. Um, did they give us a knife to start? Probably not. Tools. No, we, we need to find an axe and a knife to be able to break down some of the stuff. Ketchup chick, chips, hun, hun, uh, hiding under the bed there. Okay, we got a book here. Books are decent, but not great fuel. Uh, so we're going to try to just do a, like a, a roundabout, I already looked in there, a roundabout the map here. On Mystery Lake. I'll try to fit one region in per, per episode, but I don't think it's going to be possible. There's just so much to loot. Okay, let's check our gear here. Any repairs needed? 99%, 54 we'll, we'll repair this right away. We do want to make good use of our daylight, so I don't want to spend too long in here. And in some ways, I'm going to play this as if it's interloper. In terms of using torches and teas and all that stuff. Torches to fend off the wolves. Oh yeah, my gear is pretty, pretty ravaged. There's also an achievement for getting level 5 in every skill. I've never done that before either. So we'll be trying that. I think we're good to head out here. I probably missed some stuff, but that's okay. We'll be back. Okay, the weather, the weather's not great. I forgot to get one thing though. Charcoal out of this thing. There should be some charcoal in here. We're gonna need charcoal for doing mapping. Now the weather is minus four. I am gonna survey here real quick, just to get our bearings. We'll get a little bit chilly doing that, but here we are at the camp office. <clears throat> in the center. Now I'm going to quickly dive inside here so we don't freeze. But there's... Under your journal... Under this envelope thing, there's surveyed locations. There's a force reveal so we can see all the places we need to go. In every zone. And we're in Mystery Lake. So we need to go to all these places. There's quite a few. And this is just in one zone. So where should we go first? Uh, that is the question. Um, we want to keep looking for better clothing. So I think maybe I'll head to the other side of the lake here. Yeah, we'll head down past these fishing huts to the other side of the lake. We'll grab some of this cattail stalks. These are good. Good food. Man, I don't usually play on 4K, but man, it looks good. It looks damn good. So if you got a 4K monitor, make sure you're on 4K. Uh, it is, it, the frame rate is oh, actually it's 60. Uh, okay, maybe not. It shot. It, it dropped down there for a second, but we'll grab a few stones. In case we encounter some rabbits. So I head to the other side of the lake here. And do a survey. And warm up a little bit. They gave us some matches, right? Let's just see. They even gave us some ammo. Tools, tools. Uh, do we have matches? I don't think we have any matches. Usually they start you out with some. Oh, it's under burnables. Yeah, we got a pack of matches. Okay, good. We have 12 matches. I'll see if I can survey while I'm in this little hut. This might warm me up. I might uh, cook up some water as well. Now, there's wolves that hang around this lake, so be careful. Normally, I wouldn't travel in this kind of weather. Because our clothing is getting wet. 
Now there's a lookout up there. The other thing they've added since I played way back is uh, Polaroids and kind of the views in the game. Like, you can map a large region. Map a large region. Oh, there's a hatchet here. Good. That's a nice find. Tinder. Let's cook up. Let's cook up. Um, we're going to waste a match here. And I've got some slurred. Do we have... We have lamp oil as well. 100% chance. Uh, let's do it. Uh, we have a little bit of... We have no water on us, so we'll, we'll cook some up. Try to get this weather to pass, so it's a little bit nicer out. Let's use our pot in here. We'll cook up as much as we can. One shot. One hour till melted. Let's do some searching. That'll come in handy. Yeah, finding a rifle will be nice. I forgot to put on my toque before. Let's put on this better toque. We'll wear that in here. I think the toque's gonna be better, much better. Yeah, we'll wear that. Get this vest on. Nothing on our hands yet. We can get frostbite if we don't cover our hands up. How much fuel do we have here? Seven minutes, maybe I should add some more fuel. Got some books. Some firewood. Now, firewood's not going to be a problem, at least in, in this area. We could do some fishing. If I have the hatchet now, I can I could break this open. Let's do it. We don't need to fish. There is an achievement for like a super big fish you can catch though. Okay, how's this? 29. Let's fish for an hour. Hopefully my fire doesn't burn out. Okay, we got some. The weather has changed. That's good. It's died down a little bit. Reclaim wood. We'll add that. 25 minutes till bottom boiled. Let's uh, boil that up. And drink it up. And we'll cook up that fish. Cook this up. 35 minutes. Do we have enough fuel? No. We'll add this book, I guess. Now, we want to use these books for skills. Sometimes they hide stuff in these little corners. I guess we'll just pass time here. And I'm going to eat all this fish. We'll probably have no problem finding food in this plate in this difficulty. <laughs> Let's take a torch as well. Uh, did it allow it? Maybe not. Okay, I don't have any more fuel anyway, so let's just move on. Normally I'd bring a torch to fend off wolves and stuff, but we'll skip it. Oh, I was going to try to map from here. Let's try to map here. Since it's warm. At least it's going to be warm for a little bit here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Exposing the map. Perfect. Uh, fire went out. Let's take that charcoal. We're going to need lots of charcoal in this playthrough. I should have probably gone up to the overlook, which is up there. We'll do that a bit later. I'm going to check out these other cabins and fishing spots here first. We'll probably spend our night maybe in one of these um, little cabins up here. Depending on how things go. This one's got a door. Ice fishing huts. Now I also want to get the... Hope nobody a, needs this anymore. There's a technical backpack that lets you carry five extra... kilos. Pry bar is useful. Take that charcoal. Yeah, the technical backpack I think is in one of those new zones. Either, I think it's in Ash River Valley, maybe, or Ash Canyon, I can't remember which one. But we'll eventually head there, after we get some decent gear. And there's some good gear at the top of Timberwolf Mountain, I've been up there a couple times. 
Should I have surveyed while I was in there? Uh, we'll survey at this other cabin here. There's also some stuff up that way. There's a climb up that way. We should probably go up there at some point. I don't know if it's necessary for the uh, mapping challenge, but... I'm going to try to do everything during daylight as much as I can so that you guys can see everything. It'll be like a, a grand tour of the long dark. A chill, hopefully chill, grand tour of the long dark. Let's see what we got in here. Temperature's not too cold, so I'm going to do a survey here. Okay, destroyed cabin. There's some little areas here that we haven't uncovered, but as part of the achievement, I don't think we have to uncover everything. We just have to go to every named location. Got lots of food in here. Grab some more books for fuel. There's a flashlight there. It's just the shelf. Broom. Uh. Eight minutes, sure, why not? We'll take that broom. Don't need that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'll be grabbing lots of cloth. I want enough to be able to build an ice shelter in case we need it. Papers we don't really need. I'm gonna break down this chair for some wood. You can do it by hand or with the hatchet. I'm just gonna do it by hand. We're trying to pass some time here. It got really dark all of a sudden. Uh, what light sources do we have? Matches, and that's about it. Okay, let's eat up some food. Don't think I have a can opener yet. So, oh, let's eat this maple syrup. We might get sick. It's pretty bad condition. Eat these chips. Oh, we were full anyway. Okay, let's uh, drink some water. And have a snooze. So we can get some daylight here. What time of day is it? It's, uh, no. We'll sleep for 10 hours. Try to get some daylight. Now, because it's Voyager, there's definitely a chance of dying from bears and wolves. And I've definitely died on Voyager before. Sneaky bears running up on me. Okay, what's the time? It's still the middle of the night. Let's sleep for another, I don't know, six hours or something. Uh, probably can't sleep. Not tired enough. We're going to pass time then. Pass time for three hours and sleep for a bit. Trying to travel when the sun is at the peak here. It's the warmest part of the day. Okay, we got a little bit of light. Let's sleep for a couple hours. Yeah, I just wanted a somewhat relaxed exploration of all these new areas. That's the idea here. Uh, we got a little bit of time left in the day. Let's repair some more gear here. Fishing tackle. Oops. Didn't want to use my fishing tackle. I don't think I have any sewing kits yet, though, so that's probably what's going on there. We need some better boots for sure. Okay, oh, there's a container I missed. Okay, uh, that's probably it in here. Probably missed some stuff. Some books, maybe. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> this stuff will come in handy. Stim. Stim's pretty nice. I could break this chair down, but uh, it's going to take a while, I think. An hour and 30 minutes. Uh, let's do it. We'll get wood and cloth. And let's head out here. Okay, I don't think this is part of the challenge, but I'm going to go up. There's a climb here we can do. And there's a little area back in behind here. Let me just see if it's on my list here. Oh, poor rides. Let's see here. Survey locations. Mystery Lake, Angler's Den, Bitter Marsh, Broad Falls, 
climber's cave. You know what? There might be one up here, so we'll we'll go up here. This is kind of the one of the corners of the zones. I gotta plan my route. We'll probably go up there, come back around the lake. We'll we'll go around the outside of the zone, I guess. And then head up to Carter Dam. Oh, there's a cave here. I think I knew? Yeah, I knew about this one. <laughs> Take a peek inside. Maybe some uh, coal or something? No. We definitely need a lantern. And you know what? Let's, uh... Actually, there's no wolves up here. I was going to make a torch, but... Now, a wolf could kill us if we don't have a torch. You know what? I'm going to make one. Since the weather's nice, we should probably build this in here. Just in case we encounter a wolf. Oh, it's nice to carry a lit torch around with you. We could use the mag lens. Oh, nice. Okay. 80% chance we'll do that. Save a match. I suspect we'll be swimming. Just swimming in matches. Because it is uh, lots of loot on uh, Voyager difficulty. Okay, we'll pump some, fuel, it. pump some fuel into here. Uh, the reclaimed wood. Get a couple hours in there, and then we're going to take some torches, extinguish them, holster them, or put them away. We'll bring some torches with us for perpetual fire. This is like an interloper technique. And let's also cook up some water. Just a little bit. Melt that. Boil that. Take another torch. That one's pretty crappy. <laughs> It's kind of random how good the torches are. That one's pretty good. That's good. Let's go. Oh, I could probably survey here as well. Did I use up all my charcoal? Don't think so. That might make my torch burn out. Because it takes some time. Okay, we're back here. It's just an unnamed cave. Okay, up we go. I think it's up here. There's a climb. This is probably not needed for the achievement, but we're going to go up here anyway. It's a neat little spot. Now you can either do the climb here, or you can kind of shimmy up the wall here. I think I'll climb because I've got lots of health. I guess the other thing we could do is go towards Trapper's Cabin instead. And loop around the do, do a clockwise loop around the zone? Maybe I'll do that, because that's where this is going to kind of take me. Now this rope... How much weight am I carrying? I'm going to take this rope. Uh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Let's get back up here. We're going to take the mountain angering rope. Because in the ravine, which is in the... I think the northern part of the zone. Let's do a quick survey here since we're warm. That might make my torch go out. Okay, that was not really needed. Ah, uh, my torch burned out. Oh well. You can salvage one stick from the torch, which can be handy. So there's some bunnies and deer back here, as well as some saplings. We probably won't need saplings. We're probably just going to find a bow. Versus having to make one. But we'll take it. There's some bunnies. Look at them all. We don't really need them. How's our food situation? We're going to be we're gonna be swimming in food soon, so... I won't hunt them, because they're so cute. So we're going to head down here. There's a cave down here. 
Old man's beard. Uh, we could grab it, I guess. We're also going to be swimming in antiseptic pretty soon, I think. I'm going to try to do one hour episodes. And uh, not edit anything out. Just leave it all in. I'll be hungry later. That's a lot of food. What do we have here? Lots of firewood. We'll grab that. We might need it pretty soon. Can't see much in here. I'm going to waste a match and light a torch. Not recommended. Because, um... Normally you want to conserve your matches, but I want to see if there's any hidden stuff in here. Don't think there is. Okay. Do a quick survey. Okay, we're back here. This is called... Uh, this is an unnamed cave as well. Okay, we'll head out here. This is kind of the back corner of the zone. <clears throat> There's no... You can't really go past that, I don't think, anymore. But if we head this way... We're heading towards the railroad. The railroad tracks kind of bisect the zone. I don't know why I'm harvesting this. I said I wasn't going to hoard. <laughs> a little bit's nice to have. Got a little bit of a birch forest here. I guess we could hunt the little bunnies for uh, their pelts to make better clothing, but uh, probably don't need it. Birch bark is nice. If we see any birch bark, we'll grab it. Okay, you know what? Uh, Alan's Cave is kind of underneath this. I think it's called Alan's Cave. I think we're actually on top of it right here. So maybe I'll change my mind and we'll go down here instead. Yeah, this is like a one-way... You can't get back up once you go down here, but we'll, we'll shimmy down here. This might hurt. This might hurt. <laughs> Not recommended. Not recommended. Uh, let's check our condition. Sprained ankle. Do we have a bandage? Yeah, they gave us one. Take some painkillers. Let me renew this, renew this torch here first. Thought there was going to be stuff in here, but mm, need a horse. not really. Let's eat some food. We want to get the well-fed bonus. I got this emery. Let's eat this thing. That's a lot of calories. A lot of calories. I want to get to some of the newer zones fairly soon. Okay, we are. Oh, it's Staves Quiet Clearing. Alan's Cave is on the other side. Kind of the, not the other side of the map, but. Right around up in here, I think. What are we doing map wise? Okay, this is kind of the bottom of the zone. You can kind of tell here that there's nothing else to map. Actually, that's not true. There might be some stuff behind there. Are there sometimes wolves here? Since we have a torch, they should avoid us. Do I have any more torches on me? Yeah, I got one more. Let's light that up. Oh, that's a crappy one. Now you can light fires with lit torches. Saves you the matches. Kind of exhausted and it's the middle of the day. Too much running. We could go over to, um, we could have a snooze at Trapper's Cabin. Spend the night there. Grab a few sticks here. Never have too many sticks. I 
You can also use torches to light a fire and then get a torch from the fire and light another fire, etc. Try to get your campfire fire lighting skills up. What's my what are my skills like? Zero, fire starting, one. <laughs> risk. Yeah, we're getting tired, which means we can't carry as much. Kind of want to keep moving, though. The old lake trail here. I don't think I need to survey this, but we'll do it. Actually, I might lose my torch if I do that. Let's make a fire here real quick, even though we're right by the office. We'll use... Oh, we still have a magnifying glass. So we could use that. Let's get a few more torches here. Come on. You know what? I'm gonna go up to the overlook. Uh, there's a couple overlooks in the in the zone. Instead of uh, Trapper's Cabin just yet, because those should allow us to. <laughs> see more of the zone at one time. Uh, let's take some torches here. That's a good one. That's a pretty good one. That's <coughs> We'll be selective here. The game is a little bit laggy at 4K. I thought it would be smooth. Uh, so in the next one, I'm not sure if we'll play in 4K. Let me know how the frame rate is for you guys. Okay, that's probably good. Now, we want to use our daylight, but at the same time, we can't travel this exhausted. Lack Mr. Air. Grab some of these for teas. Get a little screenshot of this. Little camp office. Now I do want to go up to the overlook. It is kind of foggy. Um, we are kind of exhausted. Could sleep up there. In the cave. Let's go up here. I always sleep in the cave. Now this is a little bit kind of an odd path up here, but there is a way to climb up here as well. But we'll take the uh, the scenic route. We might get sprain doing this. I think it's up this way. Probably don't really need our torch anymore. Something's making me feel tired. No kidding. Now yeah, is it this way? I think it's this way. Got a Billy going across here. <clears throat> Let's see. I think this will work. Yeah, here it is. And there goes our torch. I don't think we need it anyway, so. Lots of bunnies here as well. So here's that other climb. This is another place you can get an extra rope. If you need one, because you don't need this rope to uh, climb up. The, weathering, the weather is so forgiving on this difficulty. Okay, we're down to one charcoal. Maybe I'll hold off on serving in case there's a Polaroid thing here. I think it's up here. There's some crows. There's a dead body up here of something. Maybe a deer? Yeah. I could cook him up. But there's some kind of overlook here. No. Oh, unfortunately it's all foggy. Lake's overlook. Sometimes there's some kind of Polaroid thing here. We'll sleep through the night in the cave and hopefully we'll be able to see better in the morning. 
I will survey here. Maybe the Polaroid is found somewhere else, and then you survey? That might be how it goes. I think that's how I've experienced it in the past. What are we doing for matches? Ten. We'll be finding lots of matches, so I'm not I'm not worried. Should we cook this guy up? To use up our daylight. Uh frozen. Oh we can harvest him frozen. 13 minutes? That's nothing. Let's grab all his bits. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. We'll grab his hide. Something's making me feel really tired. Now we'll grab the guts. Okay, looks good. Well, uh, we can't run anymore because we're so exhausted. And our condition's going down. So we will cook him up in the cave here. Since we're warm, I might also chop up this log. 45 minutes. Take a bit of condition damage from doing that, but that's okay. Too heavy. Too heavy. Got a poor, poor dude in here. Didn't make it. Froze to death. Let's take the charcoal. We need it. Got some fuel here. Oh, crow feather. I thought that was a fire striker for a second. What's temperature like? Zero. Got this. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I should have. Okay. Oh, it was, it was okay. <laughs> Got a little bit more revealed there. Okay, I want these things to cure right away, so I'm going to drop the guts. Moldy venison raw, cook that up. And let's drop that pelt. So it can start curing, because we are going to sleep the night here. We'll drop this as well. And I don't, I don't want to use this fire, I want to light a fire in the back where it's potentially warmer. Feels like night is coming. Not that it probably matters on this difficulty, but let's just do it. Now, about fires. Uh, we could use a match, and we have an 80% success rate, but if you light a torch first... If you light a torch instead... There's a 100% chance to light the torch. You'll never fail. And then when you light a fire with the torch, you don't have that risk of you know, missing out. There's 80% chance, but you can try again and try again and try again with the torch, as long as it doesn't burn out. It's very handy to ha have like three to six torches on you. One to keep that fire burning to scare away wolves, because if you have a torch, the wolf won't attack. Which we'll probably encounter later on. I did it. Put this out. So that potentially saved us a match. Let's add this heavy for firewood. We'll uh, do some cooking here. Now we could cook these right on the um, cook these right on the thing, but also we can use a pot. So let's sort our stuff by weight. Drop the pot. Drop the meat. So we'll right click to move the pot. Right click. Oh, this won't work. We'll have to pick this up. <laughs> so used to not using the pot. Up that venison. Pass some time. And I'm gonna eat that up right away. Usually eat the meat first. Okay, that's good. We're gonna take that. Oh, we can probably eat it as well. Oops. Eat it all up. And. I want to sleep right through the night. We don't have to restore too much condition. 
So let's cook up some water. That's good. We'll sleep for a couple hours. Normally you want to sleep in big, long... Um, you know what? We can make some tea. We can make some tea as well. Herbal tea. It's good for a good night's sleep. Drink that up. I'll make a few teas as well. Because sometimes they're useful on on the on the go. Okay, I thought I'd be able to map the zone in one episode. There's no way. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. We can probably drop a can here. We don't need two cans. Two cans, Sam's. Uh, this water is going to be oh, 26 to, to melted. You know, let's just get through this. Then sleep, I guess. Maybe we should make some more. Yeah, why not? Drink the soda. Drink some water. Stoke the fire and then have a snooze. We'll sleep for a couple hours. Actually, maybe just one hour. Because this might boil over. I'm not used to kind of the, the meters and mechanics in Voyager as much. Okay, we didn't get much rest from that. A decent amount. Hear it bubbling away. Okay, take that. Fire's gonna go out. Hopefully the temperature is okay without the fire. But we'll add some more fuel since we've got it. We'll just load up this fire. Let's sleep for sleep for eight hours. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> it could get so cold that we die. But uh, hopefully it's okay. Let's do eight hours. Not recommended. Better to sleep in smaller intervals just in case you freeze to death. Because if the fire goes out and the weather gets bad, it can get cold in some of these caves. And it did. It got down to minus eight. So a little bit risky. A little bit risky. Cold okay. is making my head feel thick. Actually, we're freezing now. Hmm. <laughs> We are freezing. We're going to start taking damage. So, you know what? Let's uh, warm up first before we leave. Waste another match. We probably could have light a fire outside, but... Goddamn freezing. Goddamn freezing. Yeah, we'll warm up here. Maybe make some more water. Come on, little fire. The weather sounds a little bit cold. Okay, let's Looks like it worked. This out now. Add some fuel. And boil some water, I guess. And that should warm us up. We could sleep couple hours to warm up. I think our water will be okay. Okay, the wind stopped. That's good. Pick that up. Take that. Drink up. You go through a lot of water in this game, that's for sure. And we're going to take a torch and head out. Grab our stuff here. How cured did it get? 14%. We have a sprain risk. Oh yeah, we're a little bit overweight. We're gonna drop some of the stuff at camp office though. Let's check out this view though. Check out this view. Crystal clear. Oh, this is gonna look nice. This is gonna look nice. Look at that. Wow. You can see all the way over to where we were before. Way in the background there. That's where we were. You can see the dock. 
I guess we could climb down here and head to the the dam. Just gonna make sure though that there's no overlook here. I think I already looked from this ang angle, but this is what you don't get as much in Interloper. You don't get weather that's this clear usually. It's super rare. You get way more blizzards and stuff. Okay, look at that. Jeez. Camp office is down there. We haven't gone through all those cabins. There's an achievement for going inside of every single building in Mystery Lake and I think Coastal Highway. So we'll have to go into all those cabins and stuff. But I'm going to do the climb down and we're going to head down this way. I keep changing my, my route, but uh, we'll go this way. What a view. Jeez. So nice. So nice. I should probably take these guts <clears throat> back to um, the camp office. Because it's a little bit riskier to carry them around. How many torches do we have? Probably not a lot. Oh, I, I was completely wrong. We have lots. Let's get down. Too encumbered. Okay, we gotta drop some stuff. Uh, we got a lot of water. Drop a couple liters of water. So we can climb. We'll have it there in case we need it in the future. Trying to stay light and quick on our feet, even though I'm carrying quite a bit of junk around. Oh, there's two climbs here. Didn't even realize it. I want to get a fresh torch because I'm going to do a little survey pretty soon here. And I don't want it to burn out. Let's do a survey from here. Probably won't see a lot of extra detail, but please don't fall. <laughs> uh, that exposed a little bit, but not much. Down we go. Oh, extinguish. There we go. Now there is a wolf that hangs around down here. Hence the torch. We don't want to get into any wolf encounters. We don't even have a rifle or any kind of... The only defense we have is a hatchet. Which is not the best defense. It defends. It's pretty good. It'll injure the wolf. But I don't want to take any damage. I don't want to have any risk of dying, because I want to have this achievement in the bag. Grab some of these. And we'll grab some cattails as well. Probably will never need them, but it's good for emergency food. And we'll head up this river here. Sticks along the way. Oh, there's some bunnies. We'll, we'll try some target practice here. Or maybe not. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. There's a lot of bunnies here. Hello, bunny. Okay, we're going to travel up the river, and I think Alan's cave is up here. It is pretty chilly right now. Okay, we're overweight again. Let's, uh, we probably have a lot of tinder. Actually, not too much. Let's drop these papers. Helped a little bit. We'll skip skip any more cattail for now. Maybe we can eat some heavy food. Uh, these peaches, we'll smash them open. And we don't have a lot of food. 
to be honest. Uh, harvested recycled can. Oh, do we have a can opener that I picked up along the way? Um, maybe I did. Anyway, moving along. I really want to find some coffee, because then we can restore our stamina without sleeping and just really cover some ground. I am going to survey here, though, since we're a little bit more up the map. Yeah, we're heading up the river. That cooled us down a bit, but that's going to be okay, I think. We're heading towards the Carter, the Hydro Carter, Carter Hydro Dam some cabins or trailers. There's a whole bunch of deer up here. We have no way to hunt them really. Four of them, look at them. Jeez. Did I miss Alan's cave? I thought it was around here. Or not Alan's cave, but maybe it's up here. Now you can scare deer towards wolves, or lead a wolf. Oh, is, it, is that a dead wolf? Oh, it's a dead guy. Okay, river, northern axis. Need to find some place to escape this cold. I think I missed um the little quiet Dave's. What was it, Dave's? Or let me check my map here. Like overlook Dave's quiet clearing. There's um. Oh, there's the overlook up there. Let's check this body. Yeah, I think I missed something along there. I think we'll have to go back. Oh, hunting knife? That's a that's a good find. Feathers. Okay, we're getting a little bit of frame rate issues here. I think I missed something along there. We can always go back, though. Maybe it's up through here. Oh, maybe that bridge is not... Oh, no, we're all the way to the Carter, Carter Dam already. Oh, which part? That. Whenever I look down, I get frame rate issues. We are kind of freezing. I think this is what I was thinking of back here. Some saplings here. We'll grab them, even though we're overweight. It's starting to freeze. <laughs> These are good for arrows. We'll cure these maybe in the dam. Maybe the dam will set up as our main home base. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Now, normally I'd light a fire here, but I think... I don't think I've been back here before. Or have I? Oh, this is Hunter's Blind, I think. A Hunter's Blind. Yeah, here it is. Okay, we're freezing. Damn. Freezing. Which means we're taking damage. A little bit's okay, but you know what? I'll just start a fire here. We'll warm up a bit. And... Let's see. There are some wolves where we're going as well, so maybe it would be a good idea to have some torches going. I could use my bag lens. Because the weather is perfect. Yep, but I guess we'll use a torch instead. Don't use your birch bark for uh, tinder unless you need to. Because... I'm going to use accelerant since we have some. Because it makes really good teas that can restore your condition. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, let's add some sticks. I don't really have any more wood. Let's take a quick peek here. We have... 
Ammo, MREs, jeez. Voyager certainly has great loot. This will come in handy. Great loot. And we can break this down. Eight minutes. Yeah, let's do it. We can break down the bench as well. Why not? 30 minutes? Let's put some fuel on first. Maybe we should heat up as well first. Something's gotta go. Uh, add that. I think we need to heat up first. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes around one hour. So we're getting close to that right now. Let's cook up some water. Actually, we have, we've got lots of water. Let's cook up some soup. I guess I have a can opener. Hey, we can cook it just like that. I didn't know that. Okay. That warmed us up a bit. Let's eat this. That'll give us a warming up bonus because it's hot soup. Yep. Uh, what else can we do here? We can also cook up peaches and nice little thing you can do if you drop tea the sound is going all weird on me if you drop tea do I have any tea? beside a fire See, it's cold, but if you move it closer, like here, it'll warm up. Pretty nice little trick. Take that. The weather is changing. Eat those up. Now, since the weather is changing, it might get a little bit windy here. I wish I could remember where the little clearing is that I want to go. I thought it was back in there, maybe. Let's grab a torch and keep going here. I do want these for tea, so I am going to grab these. Teas are nice because they never rot. They give 100 calories. They also have healing benefits. Okay, I think this is kind of a dead end. Actually, maybe not. It's up here. Or maybe this loops the background of the Carter Dam, actually. I thought I knew the zone, but it's been a while. It's been a while since I kind of moved around. And let's drop a stick. We are going south. It's kind of not where I want to go, but... <laughs> Getting lost in the woods. Let's grind this game. I think this is the way I came in. <laughs> we'll get lost. <laughs> it's okay. Pretty sure that's the way we came in. Which is not where I want to go. Okay, that says northish. Hmm. <laughs> lost already. Uh, what should we go? Where should we go? I think this is not where I want to go. So we'll go this way. I'll grab some of these here. Too much stuff to carry. I know, I know. We'll be dumping some of this soon. I'm just trying to find. There's my foot. There's my footprints. We're going in circles. That's good. Good to know. I think I'm going that way, almost straight ahead. Yeah, that's where we're going. Let's get a new torch. New torch. In case we encounter some wolves. The dam has a whole bunch of loot. So that's where we're going there first. Trailers and the dam. And then there's the ravine, which has a... Um, 
Distress Pistol, which is a really good defense against bears and wolves. So we're going to try to grab that. In case a wolf jumps us, but more importantly, in case a bear jumps us. Now, I think this is kind of west. Nope, oh, we're back here. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll get to where we're going eventually. Yeah. Now I'm... I think I'm going south. Let's check our, our stick. We are going north. <laughs> Maybe I have the, uh, like... My, uh... Okay, there's the bridge. Now I know where I am. Because the dam is just over the bridge here. So are the trailers. It's all good. It's all good. When we get to the harder, more confusing zones, I'm going to be hooped, but that's okay. There's more, some more saplings away, way up there. Lots of cattail stalks down there for food, but we don't necessarily need those right now. Okay, we're almost there. Got some trailers here. Let's quickly search them. Some mushrooms. Grab those. Pretty exhausted. Definitely want to find some coffee. Might find some in the dam. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, so we got two trailers here, and then the dam is right ahead. We'll save that for next episode, because we're out of time here. Next episode, we'll search the trailers, search the dam, and then maybe search the ravine and get that distress pistol. Well, let's do a quick, Feels quick like something uh, is sapping my survey energy. here. Okay, so we're at the north end of the zone here. We started out down here, camp office. Did a little bit of loop around here. Some cabins over here I need to get. But next episode, we'll search around this area. Check her journal here. Polaroids, this is what I'm looking for. And survey locations. Mystery Lake. We've done four of them. We've done four of them. Which four? We've done off camp office, Dave's Quiet Clearing, Lake Overlook, and Lake Trail. Yeah, so we still have quite a few to go. But let's get inside and get warm. Next episode, we'll uh, we'll continue on from here. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's going to be a pretty casual playthrough. Want to explore the whole map, whole world. It's going to take a while. Maybe get that uh, hundred day survival achievement. Maybe even get the five hundred one if we just keep going. Want to get all the gear, do all the things. So, love to hear your comments about this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. I do lots of survival kind of sandbox kind of games. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.